Round five. Bruiser's five. F five. Bueno, vamos a ver si es verdad que a, a Kata es un Spacey Slayer, como él mismo se llama. Hasta ahora el bien es el que Desde el viernes que estuvimos jugando contra Jim, eh, Kevin se ha llevado bastantes matches en contra de él, así que vamos a ver si esta vez es diferente. Ya que Jim pues encuentra el macho bien extraño, las direcciones en que Samus lo manda de sí. cada hit. Es un problema mío bien. que yo tengo también, que, que Samus lo... es como anormal, no sé ah, si esa es la palabra correcta, pero todos sus su, su ataques salen raros, cuando tú le das es como heavy y, y flurry a la vez, así que tú no sabes exactamente cómo va a trabajar, a menos que tú obviamente te sepas el macho. Pero ya que Jim ha tenido práctica, pues debería... Sí, ya, ya él conoce el personaje bastante bien. Eso es una de las cosas que aprendió a hacer en contra de Samus, de los Hacer los arrow shield, ya que se para frente a él, espera la reacción de, de Astro y reacciona. Ya sea Osmash o Wave Dash para afuera y un grab, cosas así. Ok. Pero vamos a decir la verdad, Fox, eso sirve contra casi todos los personajes. <risa> Eso es una de las cosas que encontramos acerca de Jim, que siempre abusa ese approach de parar al frente de ti con un chill. Mm. Y reaccionar ya sea con un Osmas o alejarse. Sí, porque no importa lo que el oponente vaya a hacer, la única debilidad que tiene eso es si te van a agraviar y tú puedes este spot dodge ahí uh -huh. y castigarlo bien fácil. Exactamente. Así que eso es una estrategia que yo considero que está hasta un poquito... Funciona la estrategia. Mira, que... otro up smash. Esperando que Kevin venga. Le canceló la, la patada del que venía con Nair. Se la canceló con Crouch Cancel. Y le hizo los smash. ¿No fue block? No. Sí, fue un block a Osmash. Fue un block. Sí. He blocked and he Ah, bueno, pues mala mía. Error mío. El punto es que le pegó los smash. <risas> la opción de pegar el los smash. Exacto. Tristemente Fox regresa muchas cosas, pero de eso no. Y recuerda la tensión inmensa que, fue, que tienen ahora mismo Jimmy y Castro. Los dos Castro, quieren estar... Castro. Que Astro. <risas> Los dos quieren estar en este torneo, ninguno de los dos quiere. No, claro, sí, porque el que pierda esto se elimina. Se elimina y... completamente el torneo. Y no llega, no sé, creo que esto es como top 13 o algo así todavía, así que este, no llega Astro, lejos. Astro Melanta está bien determinado en llegar aunque sea a top 8. Uh -huh. Y Jim su... viene de, de Georgia a tratarle, obviamente, a hacer nombres. los de allá. Exactamente, así que bastante presión que los dos, a los dos jugadores. Y ese grab le va a costar... Pero está vivo todavía. No tenía suficiente por ciento para morir. Pero sinceramente este match es uno súper importante. Especialmente para Kevin. Porque él se considera que... Que de tanta y tanto tiempo que le ha dedicado a su personaje. Que no llegar lejos aquí es doloroso. En uno de los torneos más grandes que ha habido. Exactamente. Eh, sí, en verdad que sí. Este, este torneo en verdad bastante importante... De... Ya, ya con los Premier FM ya se ha establecido una comunidad, gracias a Dios. Se ha logrado demostrar que la comunidad de Smash todavía sigue viva. Sí. Y, y esto pues es la continuación de esa creación de, de su unión. Sí, porque antes ya. de Frame by Frame lo que, lo que la gente que iba a los torneos eran máximo como 10, 12 personas. O no iban. O no iban, ex y pues, exacto. Pero ahora desde, desde que empezó a Frame by Frame están yendo un número constante mínimo como de, de 18 personas a 20. Aquí hay, ¿cuántas hay en, en Mili? Como 27. Tuvieron 21 cuando empezaron Project M, pero yo creo que después llegaron más. No, me, no, sé, no, te, no te sé decir el número exacto. Eh, dame un segundito, vamos a verificar para poder darles información. Daniel, ¿cuánto fue lo que 
Y acuérdense gente que esto es una colaboración de un montón de asociaciones, incluyendo IT, que obviamente pues le estamos dando el stream. Este Gamer Skill, que aquí dio comida para todo el mundo, obviamente pues comprando. Este en el sitio donde estamos, en el OGM House. Smash en Puerto Rico. 24 en mil. 24 en mil. Tuvimos 24 en mil. Hello. Tuvimos 24 en mil, así que se dio bastante. 26 en Breaker. El Mar se lo acaba de llevar Blue Jim. Uh -huh. Y Astro con un stage que siempre me ha sorprendido. Que es Pokémon Stadium. Siempre lo coge como counter de, desde hace poco. No eh, sé. Que Astro estaba usando a Pokémon como counter. A, a Pokémon no, perdóname, yo soy Story. Ah, ok, como sí, counter, eso más sentido. Y... ¿Por qué tú crees que eso es? Yo sinceramente no le veo la lógica. Y ahí ese rol le va a costar bien fe en un match tan tight como este. No se supone que sea lógico, pero él, él entiende que. Él ha aprendido a, a. Él es defensivo, pero ya ha aprendido a buscar las maneras ofensivas del personaje. Y no sé por qué últimamente se siente muy cómodo atacando creo, en este stage. Yo creo que eso tiene que ver porque está jugando mucho más ofensivo en Project M y eso está trasladándose a mí. Eso puede ser. Este... Y el Samus de Project M es mucho más ofensivo que el de aquí. Todo en Project M es más ofensivo. Okay. Aquí tenemos, aquí tenemos shoutouts para Blue Jim from Full Metal 88. Um, Let's go Blue Jim, do it for GA, let's go. Um, ¿Tú hablas inglés? No ¿Qué? ¿No quieres hablar inglés? No quiero hablar inglés. 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 Has found us players in Puerto Rico. Mayagüez, yeah. Puerto Rico, and we've had a lot of fun with him. We played since he came, and now he's here at the journey. Yeah, he's everyone actually. Yeah, he's actually playing really well. He's uh, I think this match is for the top 13, is it? I'm sure. 13 or nine? I'm not sure. I know it's losers round five. Uh, round five exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, and as always, he's just punishing Astro Samus with that up smash out of shield. Um, well, the thing is, in this matchup, uh, he tried it that time, but missed. Yeah. He just jumped and did an up air, but. Yeah, the thing is, um, Astro should have this matchup set since apparently he's the spacey player. <laughs> uh, but, he's supposed to be. Let's see but uh, Jin has it. had a lot of practice against him in the last few days. So it's not really an advantage for him to using such a, a so weird character as Sam's. And, and and Jim's doing really well. He's actually ahead right now by quite a lot, and he won the first match. Well, not that if I'm not mistaken. Like, he just has a percent advantage. But this Edgar, he almost had it. it that was like free Edgar, but Astro kind of, kind of missed it. Let's, let's see. How he can manage to take this talk before Jin does. Um, I mean, Jin won the first one, right? So if Jin wins zero. this one, it's over for Kata. Exactly. It's one zero. And that's gonna be devastating for him because he, he he wants this win a lot. And seems he's coming back. And he's he took he took advantage of the match. Let's see. The last match will probably go to Pokemon Stadium. So uh. I mean, if I think, if if Kata doesn't ban it, of course. I, I don't think Kata. I mean, what other option? Final? Is he yeah, gonna I, ban I final? Yeah, I think Kata, I think Astro will ban. Final, and final then they go to Pokemon if he yes. wins. I think that sounds logical. Like, Astro I mean, I, I I I'm not really sure which one is better for him, but I think Pokemon is still better than Final against Fox. Yeah, I I, I just think that Astro doesn't like Final destination. Now, well, let's, let's see what he bans, of course. I mean, it can go either way. 
Mm -hmm. I personally prefer the final ban over the the Pokemon ban. But yeah, there, there yeah. you go. Yeah, that's probably you were right, apparently. Yeah. Well, that's why I love with him. With him so. And lately, I've been trying Fox. So we've been playing a lot. Learning about this matchup. So. Well, I personally don't know much about this matchup at all because <laughs> I don't use Fox or Samus. But uh, I, I still personally give this matchup to, to Fox. Mm -hmm. Simply oh. because of all the tools he has and instant exactly. ability like Shine and all the strength he has. I mean, an up smash kills Samus, which is one of the heaviest characters in the game. Exactly. And like 90% in most stages. The only thing that Fox doesn't have anymore is... The shield pressure because Samus can just all be out of it. Yeah. But yeah. Fox has a lot of other tools that he can abuse of, no matter. Although the thing that Samus does have is uh, the edge guard. The edge guard of Samus is really, really, really yes. good against Fox. And pretty yes. much, if Fox is on the edge, and he has a sweet spot, yeah, over. it's pretty much over. Unless he screws up like like Kata, Kata did on that last exactly. moment that he missed his uh, his short shot. And Kata tried to grab Fox out of that side B with that up B. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now we're just gonna see some camping. So oh, we're up really at a standstill because just I mean. having fun. Does anybody like out. these changes? I mean. I don't like him, but I don't like to wait either, so I just go for it. <laughs> you just yeah. YOLO it. Yeah. And just pretty much our fate decides. Exactly. I mean, I, I depending on the, the opponent, I basically decide what I want to do. Don't throw the charge shot, please. Oh, yeah, one of the inside jokes that we have uh, with uh, E.D. Astro is basically that he misses all his charge shots. And it's pretty much been true in this entire match. Oh, oh, he hit one. That's oh my god. We gotta buy him dinner now. We gotta used... buy him dinner now. Yes. I cannot believe he used it like that. <laughs> that's, that's like the way he... Oh, he missed one. It. He just missed one. No, it doesn't matter. He just used it. Oh my god. The right way. Oh, this is going really bad for Jim, isn't yes. it? Yes. He's two stocks down. He can still come back, because, I mean, Fox is the master of combat. And Axe. With what? Pikachu. Oh, well, I mean... But that's slavery. But Axe is just on another level. <laughs> I mean, that Pikachu is... I swear it's on drugs or something. So, it's over so let's talk about this match. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a lot of G chance. Um, PR versus Georgia. Let's go. Yeah, it's basically uh uh I don't even know the word for it. It's it's really uncomfortable for Jim. Jim is from Atlanta, Georgia. He is a visitor on vacation right now. Exactly, he's vacation with his girlfriend, I think. Yeah, I, I think, think that's what he said. Yes, and he's been like really close to Maya West where the AD Gaming crew is. So we've been playing with him and invited him to this journey and now he's here playing and oh, having a lot of fun and showing us, you know, what Georgia is capable of. Oh, well, let's see if he can he play, keep going. I mean, he played, he played it's, it's really one well. one right now. He played really well against um, XL Zero. You'll have those matches uploaded to YouTube later so you can watch him. Um, be, be on the lookout for AT Gaming so you can see the link to the matches. And yeah, that's, that's about it. I think Jim has been on stream twice, right? Again, yeah. Zero and this one? Exactly. So if you're a if you're a gym fan, then be sure to check that out. Exactly. There's like a few matches. <laughs> and Jim just waited for him. You yeah. See that? He's just like yeah, giving but up. I mean, or, or, well, he's really far behind right well, now. Oh, oh, my god. oh god, he's using those charge shots well. My god. Uh, he's so comfortable in the match right now. Yeah, I mean, this is why he's called the Spacey Slayer. <laughs> I still, I still want to give him the title, simply because I mean the best one here is. Uh, yeah, I didn't haven't seen him against Zero, using his Fox. I, I think if he can beat him, I think he deserves the title. I think Kata has the potential to do, like get to be top, top three actually. Like he's, he's really dedicated in the game, and 
He has improved a lot. He's, yeah, I mean, he, he, he plays, plays every day for like three hours. Yes. And he, it's like his drug. If he doesn't exactly. play, he gets depressed and sad. I mean, it's, it's actually pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. That that is dedication. And, and he's gotten better by playing with us, and we suck. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah we're especially in melee, we're pretty bad. Yeah. I mean, I, I'd say that our group is probably the strongest in Puerto Rico, and Project M. In Project but in melee, I mean, we're just mostly a bunch of scrub. But he's he's showing that if you put enough dedication in, you can basically become really good. And uh, that's that that was a good game. Let's go, Jim. Go play. Well, it seems that uh, Jim couldn't prevail and over he, Iti Astro, and yeah. it's a shame, but I mean, only one can continue, right? And that was losers, so basically that, that was the last was, chance. Yeah. <laughs> eh, ¿quién vamos a tener en stream ahora?